Hello and welcome Pixels! 25 Games is here and today I want to show you how to create a normal map in Photoshop CC without any 3D modeling software. For example, you have a diffuse texture and then you can generate in Photoshop the normal map pretty fast. The first step is, I go here to this website www.textures.com and you can sign in there, you create a profile and this is pretty useful because you can download every day uh, with an amount of credits um, textures and they are for example as well seamless which is very useful for fast creation. Um, I will just go here for bricks and yeah um, I like the rounded one, so I'm searching for a diffuse texture and you can see as well that there is a seamless texture if it is in the name. So you see here seamless and I have 15 credits for today and I can download this 1k texture for free. So this is as well seamless, so let's do this. And it's already here. Um, now go to Photoshop and drag and drop your your downloaded image to Photoshop. You see we have a 1k texture, this is pretty okay and we have the stone pattern here. Um, for sure the, you need to save your diffuse map as well. For sure you can now create immediately the normal map I will not recommend this to you because if you just uh, if you just generate the normal map without any preparation, then it could lead to a ugly normal map. So you can you can't control what the normal map is doing. So for example, you can go to filter, and here's the three D option, and then generate normal map, and this will do a very quick result for you, but. For, uh, as I told you before, you can't control anything here, so it is just making a, a modest result and you can probably work with it, but as I told you before, I just want to give you advice to control what you are doing here. So, um, the very first thing is that we have our diffuse map here and you can for example um, save it by duplicate it um, and we are here in the layer uh, in the layer tab this is very important because we just work here with layers and I go here to this little icon and for sure this is in German but I will translate it to you as well and the first step is to create a black and white image. So we we are creating something like a bump map. So you we are just working with lights and shadows, and the shadows should be the depth parts, and the light parts should be the height parts. So the first step is uh, delete any color information. The second step is levels. It is called in German Tonwertkorrektur. And with levels, you just pull the shadows to the maximum and the height, the lights as well. So we will create a higher contrast so we see the shadows more clearly and the lights as well. So this is fine. The next step will be curves. With curves, you can push this as well a little bit. So we, we bring up um, all the mid-tones to a lighter version of it. We delete the mid-tones and uh, try to create more light and shadow parts in this texture. It is as well important to keep some mid-tones as well. So we just want to reduce the amount of mid-tones. And the last step will be the lightning. The light is as well important to push this again. So maybe we wanna adjust this as well a little bit and this can be very useful in some cases, but here in this texture, it isn't very useful 
uh, at the moment. So I will I will keep this like it is here. And this is all. So you can control what is the light and the shadow parts. So you can modify your masks by working with the brush. Uh, if you enable and disable them, then you see what you are changing. For example, um, we wanna bring those midtones to make them darker. So I just go to this to this mask and select a black color or some gray color. And for example, we can now pull them back to a darker to a darker temperature. So you can control this here a little bit more. And so you see that the, the darker areas should be really the depth parts of our normal map. And for sure we can now make this for everything for the whole for the whole texture. But I just wanted to tell you this that you can modify your layers uh, in detail as well. Uh, and push your details a little bit more and bring something more to contrast and this is all but now I will just go to the next step I duplicate my layers and merge them and now I chose again the filter option and select 3d normal map generate and you will get this um, this window here again and you see that we get a little bit a different uh, result than before. You can as well adjust your settings here. Um, you have this these options to make this more softer but I, I prefer it to have it uh, with a very light softness here and you can as well scale the details a little bit. For example, if you pull this down, then we have a very decent normal map. Or we can push this to the top and we get a very hard or sharp um, normal map. You can as well change this from a sphere to a cube, for example. Then you can see the texture in a, on a plain face. Then we can as well zoom in here. And move it a little bit. Uh, maybe this is too much. Don't like this. So now we get a, a pretty nice view on our normal map. And uh, you can as well adjust your, uh, your depths here as well. But you, as I said before, you have to do this all before in with your layers and with your settings. So you can control every depth and every height in your normal map in Photoshop. Okay, then we hit okay and the normal map is finished and we can uh, export this as JPEG or PNG and upload it in Blender or something else or in Unity. So this was a little spontaneous video tutorial. I hope you liked it. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. And till the next time, cheers.